Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the insane politics of Wizards of the Coast and what I believe happened for this individual, uh, this content creator and why so many other content creators are coming out to support her. So Wizards of the Coast recently kicked her out of the content creator, I don't know, program. I guess people were getting paid. I don't really know what benefit there was to join the program or be in the program, but this is a content creator and my introduction to her was her selling pictures on a very ridiculous subreddit called uh, MT Free MTG, Free Magic subreddit. And she did a good job. I mean, she must have sold some pictures because she kept posting there for some time. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and that subreddit is Basically, imagine all my trolls going to like one subreddit to talk bad about people and stuff. That's how I imagine uh, Free M Magic or Free MTG. I forget what their name was. But yeah, uh, Wizard the Coast kicked her out of the creator program because I apparently sexualized Magic the Gathering and that's not allowed. And so she has an OnlyFan page, so you probably know what that is. And I think a Patreon's 18 plus. So you do have a content creator who, outside of creating magic content, which um, I have never seen her magic content, um, also does uh, hobby, other hobbies, right? Um, I guess that's the best way I can put it. There are other hobbies that interest her that she generates a revenue from. And that's interesting as a marketer. It's always interesting to see other people market and she clearly knows that that subreddit is a big big marketing opportunity as is magic the gathering of course and i always talk about you know how long does someone play magic you know it sounds very elitist very uh, old school if you will but i've been playing magic forever and i remember it was just a bunch of friends and we're all nerds and there was no females I play magic since I was in elementary school, since I was in kindergarten, and that's how it has always been for me. You know, I, I just don't really see uh, so many females. Not that I... So, the first major female I knew of was Christine Sprankle, and I thought she did a really good job because she created a whole division. Before her, there really wasn't any cosplay. I mean, cosplay blew up, right? I mean, you got some cosplayers at that time... Yaya Han or something with like a million, two million, five million subscribers or uh, followers on Facebook and <laughs> nothing but magic, right? And they never cosplay magic until one Christine Sprankles came along. Very unfortunate what happened to her. Um, I think Unsleeved Media could have been nicer, I guess would be the best way. And I believe that if he had to redo it, he would have been nicer to her because I think it's a major loss uh, to have lose both of them basically uh christine is back um so this is kind of a more mm, christine i can tell loved magic for magic she wasn't making any money she was living in her mother's very small trailer with all her giant cosplays and then she was like destroying her cosplays i think she could have resold them um for money but you know hey i, I don't know it, it seemed like a very tough life when she made that video I was fully behind it. I made a video, and that's still probably in this channel, supporting her and asking people to donate to her. And I thought this was a very, very good cause. Not like I was white knighting, but it was more like I could tell. I can tell when someone actually likes and enjoys magic. Like, I've played this game so long, right? It's not like when I look at Autumn, I don't think non-binary even enjoys magic. If playing Magic every day is not your dream and you're getting depressed and you don't want to play anymore, uh, well, how long have you been playing Magic? Since Return to Zendikar? Like, that's not very long. I've been playing Magic since beta and I've enjoyed the game this whole time. It may not sound like that, but I love MTG Arena. Like, I have two accounts. I play every day. I draft. I see you. I spend money on that, on those two accounts. Um, both accounts now. I was supposed to only spend money on one account. and One would be a free-to-play account. But I was actually streaming on Mixer. <laughs> Many of you guys don't know this. But I, because I have an Omen, it automatically streams on Mixer when you press a button. So I was actually streaming on Mixer 
and I had probably like 20 fans or something. <laughs> and, no, and the beauty was uh, no one knew it was me because they was using my other account, right? My, that, that account, at that time, that was the paid account. So I have the MTG Lion account, which if you play MTG Lion, it's probably me unless like someone has a duplicate name. And then I have my other account, which is uh, actually the guy I bought the account from. I didn't, like, well, I was actually gifted the account. Um, the guy that gifted me the account um, also bought about $5,100 of uh, EDH cards. So I gave him a really good deal. And the more you buy from me, the better the deal you get. Because at that time, I know you're serious. You're not going, like, the one thing that I value most is my time. So if I know that you're going to bring 5,000 some chains in cash and we're going to do a deal, I'm happy. So I'm happy to give you whatever discounts you need to make it viable. Because I know that you're a legit buyer and you're not here to waste my time like some people. Okay. Um, what should I say uh, about this person. I think she is a benefit to the game. I think she adds a unique aspect to the game. And I don't think she, she should be created. I am shocked that it is Tolarian Community College coming out and defending her because he's been very vocal anti Wizard of the Coast recently, which I like to see. Because once you play this game long enough and you realize what it used to be, like you, you come, you have to come to the conclusion that whoa, this game is kind of trash right now. The game is good, but the the people running it, Mero, Aaron, Gavin, I mean, literally all of them, Lee, Sharp, like all of them, they're just their opinions are so crazy. Like they're working at a company. Lee Sharp has like I think pink hair. I can't imagine too many Fortune five hundred company executives with pink hair. Imagine working at Tesla, right? And like how many of their executives, and Tesla's a very relaxed, very hip kind of place. I've never seen anyone with pink hair in Tesla in the executive management, you know, and I Google them all the time to see what's going on because I follow their company. So it's kind of like, man, you got like too many, uh, geez, uh, how can I say what they are <laughs> without seeming well, first of all, there's too many predators in Magic. Uh, we, I think we can all agree there's not enough women in Magic. I think that is definitely a big problem. Now, the question is, do women want to play Magic? And the answer may be largely no. But here we have a woman who's creating content. Uh, the content is being enjoyed by people, mostly of the demographic of the subreddit. <laughs> Um, so they're being, they're enjoying the content, they're paying her Patreon, they're, you know, she's making a livelihood from it, and I think that's great. Anytime you can make your own business, no matter what you're doing or what you're selling, I think it's uh, the American dream to own your own business. And that's where, you know, I digress because I own businesses, and I know, like, you're either an employer and have employees, or you're an employee and you work for an employer. There's only two types of people, right? Hashtag boss babe and hashtag. So I think uh, from the content I've seen, um, I don't find any problem with it. And I think she is a very unique addition to the community. Now, if we had more Elizabeths or Liz's, um, I don't see any problem with that. I think that would be very similar to the anime community, which is way larger than the Magic the Gathering community. And the anime community, at least the cosplay community, I think is majority of them are females. Um, I would be shocked if there was more males than females in cosplay. Like, definitely in popularity, you know. And I don't see why not. I mean, if there's a bunch of people who want to sell photos and they're they actually like magic and they're not just uh faking magic because they want to get like sell more photos um then yeah go for it and i do so at the end of the day it comes down to do i believe she actually enjoys magic and she wants to create great magic content or do i believe she's faking it to sell photos i think she likes magic i just can tell these things no, I've played this game long enough, and I know who is in it for, like, Wedge, for instance. When's the last time that dude played a game of Magic? 
Like seriously, he ne he never had a local game store. He bought all of his cards at Walmart. He didn't have any friends who lived near him to play Magic, and he didn't have a job, so he didn't have any coworkers. So like, how how is this dude playing Magic? Like, does that make sense to anyone? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, all these deck techs and uh, the top 10, like, all these things that he's doing, he's just reading from an article on Channel Fireball. And it's like, dude, I know you don't own these cards. I know you've never played this deck before. Um, I know this. <laughs> like, it's so obvious, right? Anyway, um... I think if someone enjoys magic and they want to share their love for magic, uh, Wizard of the Coast should promote that. And kicking Liz out of this creator club, I don't know what benefits they give you. I'm, I hope they're giving people money. I hope that's the benefit, not fake uh, Planeswalker points or something like that. Uh, yeah, keep her in the club because why not? I mean, why? Oh, well, I know why not because autumn, right? It's always autumn. Bye, guys.